sitting in my room at nighttime. I just went to the gym and just ate my meal. I've been on my computer, but I just get hit with this realization of a lifetime. I get hit with this like clarity. All of a sudden I feel so alone. This empty feeling is like this anxiety runs over me. I'm thinking, what is my life going to look like? I'm seeing all these like people on the internet making money online. They're living their best life and I just can't help to, to feel envious of them. Almost a little bit jealous. And I can't help to want that and to want what they have. And so I ask myself, what do I do? Like, what do I want to do? And I say to myself, okay, I want to make money. But why do I want to make money? Uh, so I can then I can do whatever I want. I can live that life. But do I really want to live that life? Do I really want to make money just because I've seen some people on the internet driving a Lamborghini or they're just living this like high lifestyle? Just because that they define it as success doesn't mean we that is your success. During self-improvement, how do we go about finding our path? How do we go about walking through life knowing that we are on the right track? Because a lot of us, we what I used to do, my path was I used to wake up whenever I want, eat immediately, and every single time I used to eat, I used to just have my phone. I used to like just watch or scroll on my phone whenever I used to eat. Okay, what's next? Okay, gotta go to the gym, go to the gym, come back, eat, phone, watch. Okay, I have nothing really else to do, so I might as well you mean go on my phone again and it's like this constant cycle of just emptiness it's this this unfulfilled life this unpurposeful life it's just leave it's just, it's stabbing at my soul and all of a sudden i don't even i get hit with this clarity that one night and i'm just like what do i do next i'm gonna show you right now what i mean by what i was doing so you see from this top example like i this middle line is the path is your purpose and what we do is we have distractions, we have things that take us away from our purpose, take us away from our path. But the next question is, okay, what is our path? But here's the thing, right? The reason you're not finding your path is because you keep getting distracted. That is the reason why you're not finding your path. You can't find your path, you can't find your purpose through distractions and overstimulation. Because as you can see these little moments where you do, okay, fall on the path, the moment you're like, okay, yeah, it's time to figure it out. It's time to grind. The moment that you feel resistance, the moment that you feel some sort of pull, you just go right back to the next distraction. Oh, I have an event next weekend. Oh, the holidays are coming up. I might as well go go and do something. It's like you get distracted by all of these little things, and that is what's driving you away from your purpose. It's not sitting down with yourself, getting distracted, and then finding your purpose. It's getting rid of these distractions that are taking you away from finding your path. Finding your path is not just some overnight thing. You can't just like wake up the next morning and be like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna do this. Because finding your path is you constantly walking forward in a direction that you think is right. In order to find our path, we need to start walking. We need to start going towards something that we feel gravitated towards these distractions these things these things on your phone these trends these stupid things that are just so meaningless and leave you empty if you keep going down that cycle you will never find your path but it's so easy to just indulge and overstimulate and because we're not even conscious of doing it we're we're literally on autopilot so that's why we just keep getting distracted especially in high school i couldn't even i was so distracted in high school after i get home from school i'd, I'd be so tired you know what i mean i have work or I'd go to the gym, like right, gym's good. And, and then all of a sudden I'm texting my friends, texting whoever on my phone, checking what's this. It's like, you're so distracted by all these things. I understand life just throws things at you, but you need to be aware of that. The first step into finding your path is to build awareness. It's to understand, okay, these are the things that's keeping me away from finding my path. And so with that, knowing that, you need to have some sort of accountability because no one's gonna come here and tell you what you need to do and what your path is. I'm not gonna sit here on camera and tell you what your path is because that's only for you to decide. You know yourself better than I do. I can tell you how to go about finding your path, but I can't tell you do this, do this, do that because you can't just wait for someone to come along and tell you what to do. You can't just wait for, for fucking daddy to say, oh, do this, do this, do that. We've been conditioned all our lives to just listen to authority, listen to the people. They tell us what our next thing is. They tell us what's the next step. We don't even know the next step. It's like, how do these people know our future better than we do? So with knowing that, no one is coming to find the path for you. You need to find the path yourself. 
And if you're just gonna sit there on your phone all day on your bed, like decomposing in your room that's not even clean, your bed's a mess, before you fall asleep, you go on your phone for hours, you do one thing that's good for yourself and then you think it's like all okay. But in reality, no one's coming to tell you what you need to do. That is why you need to start walking. What do I mean by that? You need to just not just actually walk, but walk towards your path. Start step by step figuring out what do you want in life. I could sit here and tell you, okay, what you need to do to find your purpose, to find your path is to get rid of stimulation. And then I would tell you that and then you'd still almost be like, okay, yeah, yeah, I'm going to do that. And then as soon as like, you feel some resistance, you immediately go back on your phone. And I used to be in this cycle for months and months and months and months. I used to be in this cycle of just when to get better and then but I just keep getting distracted. And that cycle, we it's just the only way to break that is to be aware and go against it. Because there really is nothing stopping you except you. You are the reason that you're not finding your path. You are the re It's not because of these distractions because you could just not be distracted. Don't blame it on the distraction, blame it on yourself. Look at yourself in the mirror and have some respect for yourself, have some love for yourself and be like, okay, I'm going to get better. I'm gonna take a step forward towards finding what I wanna do in my life. And I don't mean to be harsh in this video. It's just, I need to like say these things in order for you to kind of almost flick a switch in your mind to think, okay, he's saying this, not because he's telling me what to do, but because I need to wake up and do this thing for myself. Because I could give you all the advice in the world on how to find your purpose, but the only person who can actually find it is you. What you can do now to find your path is to get rid of distractions, get rid of the things that are clogging your mind, and all of a sudden your mind will start having these thoughts of, okay, what about this? What about this? What about that? Your mind will start to create its own desires, its own things, because you see these people who have money on the internet, and all of a sudden you want these things. It's like, of course, everyone wants to be rich, everyone wants money, but why? So they can what? Go and do whatever they want. The high life, they, it looks so fascinating, it looks so good to buy whatever you want and go about doing whatever you want. But what you actually want is freedom to do what you actually wanted to do all along. Ask some difficult questions to yourself. Be like, okay, if I had all the money in the world, what would I even do? And don't let anyone else tell you what you want to do, because we would do that. The desires, a lot of the desires you have aren't even yours. They're not even yours. They're just desires that people put in your mind. The school system, your parents, people on social media, they put these desires in your mind. You see someone who has, who's ripped and has abs and is big as shit on social media, you're like, oh yeah, I need that. But you never even wanted that in the first place. Of course, that stuff is good. You can't just be like, oh, I want that because it's a good thing. No, you want that because you just saw someone who has it and you just feel almost envious and jealous, so you want it now. And now you're, you're struggling to find how to do that when that wasn't even what you actually wanted to do. You had dreams when you were little, so tap into that part of your mind. What what'd you do when you were young? What, what did you used to like play with? Like What was the thing that you always thought about? What was the thing that you always did that you always wanted to do? Because when we're little, we have this like mind, this creative mind is at like a whole time high. And once we enter like the school system, once we enter real life, as they would say, they kind of be like, ah, nah, you're not doing that, right? You're gonna, what you're gonna do is learn these subjects and then you can figure out, you can pick the, you can pick the job that you want based off of what we give you. This path that you're trying to find, it's only gonna be found when you get rid of all the bullshit. When you actually sit down with yourself and commit, commit to finding your path. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Like you think like you need like this defined purpose to start going, like clear goals are good, but start one step at a time. You don't have to think 10, 20 years ahead. Think a year ahead. Think six months, at least think six months ahead. At least think maybe five years ahead. Where do you want to be in five years? Especially if you're a young person, start planning out what you want to do. A lot of times people wouldn't want to figure their life out until after they get out of high school or after they get out of the education system. After they got all the good grades, after they got all these good things, the sooner you figure it out, the better your life will turn out. Because I truly believe if you are on your purpose and you feel good about the things that you're doing, life feels more fulfilling. Life feels more purposeful. You are excited to wake up in the morning. You don't even want to go on your phone because it's not even interesting anymore. You don't even want to do all these like overstimulating things anymore because because your purpose and your path is so much more fulfilling than these such mundane things these these little things like these okay these little events and these little trends and these these things on social media these things are so mundane once you find your purpose and you find your path 
but no one's finding your path for you. And that's why you need to sit down with yourself and get rid of all of those things in order to keep moving forward. My mantra of this channel is to keep moving forward, regardless of a little bit or a lot, keep moving forward regardless. Don't stand still, don't be stagnant. Always try to excel, always try to keep moving forward in life. Whether that be you're walking your path, you're running your path, you're crawling your path. As long as you're moving forward, you're moving the needle day by day, even if it's by the littlest bit, then that's a win. Because if you're not moving forward, honestly, your soul is dying. You're like, who are you if you're just stagnant and you're not doing shit? I live that life. I live that stagnant life. Like every time I felt, every time I went into this like period of like stagnant, of every time I went into this period of being stagnant and being complacent, I always just felt guilty. I was like, this is so boring to just do nothing. I can't just do nothing. I need to do something. So go out and find your purpose, find your path, get rid of all of these things that are distracting you from finding your purpose. Get out a piece of paper and start questioning yourself and understanding who do you want to be. It's not just about external things, it's about internal. Who do you want to become? What type of person, what type of virtues do you want to follow? What are your values in life? Think about your like future family if you want to have like children in the future. Have some responsibility for your life because no one else is coming to do it for you. And with that, I hope this video has helped you. If you need people, if you need help finding people who are on self-improvement and have a hard time like trying to find their path, in the link in the description, I have a Discord that you can join called The Guild that you can come in, ask questions, help each other, and converse, talk about things, etc. If you're interested, go and join. And with that, continue your journey and keep moving forward.